Hi there, I'm Stephen Foskett and today we are playing with the Google Maps navigation included with the uh, Apple iPhone, uh, comparing the accuracy of the Skyhook Wi-Fi with the uh, Google uh, cell-based uh, searching. So let's take a look here. I have here a um, beautiful iPhone, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Google Maps here and let's see where we are. I'll push this little guy in the corner and it spins and spins and where did it find us? Uh, you can see that it uh, it found a location for us. Let's uh, try to find out um, exactly where that where that place is. We'll go ahead and do a couple of double taps here to zoom out. Oh, looks like Worcester, Cleveland. Yeah, we're we're in Ohio from the looks of it. So um, let's just uh, take a little walk here. I'm actually walking into my basement um, with this thing. Um, we're going to go where there's not as much cell coverage down here in the basement and uh, then we're going to try it again. So let's try this again. I uh, do my location finding here and it still thinks we're in Worcester, Ohio because it uh, hasn't yet given up on the cell towers. Let's try that bad boy again and again now that we're a little deeper into the basement. Nothing up my sleeve. No funny stuff. Whoa! Hey, what exactly is this place? Let's take a look at this. Let's uh, do a little zooming out here. Let's see. Huh. That doesn't look like Ohio to me. In fact, a place called Shrewsbury uh, looks like we are actually in uh, central Massachusetts from the looks of it. How did we suddenly transport from uh, Ohio to Massachusetts that quickly? Well, the answer, of course, is that uh, now that we have no service, no cell service, um, this is now using Skyhook's uh, Wi-Fi based location finding and uh, funny thing my access point used to be in uh, beautiful Shrewsbury, Massachusetts but uh, it is now in beautiful Worcester, Ohio and the funny thing about that is that Skyhook still thinks it's in Massachusetts so this shows one of the limitations of Skyhook in fact I imagine that within a uh, few uh, weeks uh, once the iPod Touches version of the Google Maps application comes out we're going to have an awful lot of complaints of users saying, hey, how come my iPhone or my iPod Touch thinks that I'm actually in Topeka or in Cupertino or in Manhattan when I'm in some place totally different from that? And of course the reason is that Skyhook's um, location-based services are based on Wi-Fi MAC addresses, and MAC addresses are very easy to spoof, very easy to copy, and uh, also somewhat portable, as is evidenced by my access point over in the other room. So, uh, this is kind of a limitation, but it's not a, a big one because it's not likely to be a light.